Welcome back. Well, a recent study ranked Australia among the top hottest markets in the world to watch in the digital recruitment space. Constrained budgets, skills shortages and the popularity of social media networks for hiring is changing the face of recruiting. Well, Career One has launched its new digital headhunter product. In uh, one part of that, it delivers messages to potential candidates rather than waiting for them to search a job's website. Let's get more on all of this with Career One CEO Karen Lawson joining us in the studio. Karen, thanks so much for coming in. Okay. Just firstly, obviously this is pretty topical given the release of the, the jobs numbers uh, here in Australia. Um, just take us through what you're seeing and, and the, uh, whether it is a, a very soft market or uh, you know steady. What, what's your sort of thinking on what you're seeing? We've, we've actually seen fairly consistent figures over the the last few months um, and we're really seeing around about 20,000 um, job listings on our platform and that's been fairly consistent so we're not seeing particular um, peaks and troughs right now in the industry. Karen how, how competitive is the digital recruitment space? Um, how big a player are you and do people still use print? Oh, it's a big question. <laughs> um, well, I think there's a real fragmentation now of how people start to find the right candidates. And I think that's, you know, a great thing for industry. It gives you lots of different tools. I think it's fair to say that the growth of social hiring has been quite an interesting trend that has affected um, certainly the marketplace. Uh, without a doubt, um, job boards are still a very significant um, player in the way that people will um, find and search for jobs and how employers will connect. Um, but I think with the trends of seeing new niche players coming into the market as well is quite different. We've been a very strong number two for um, a number of years now, so uh, we're looking to be um, fairly aggressive and bring out new innovative products and um, really help Australian businesses find the right talent. In terms of, I guess, market share then, I mean, how big a player are you in the space? You mentioned they're your number two. How, mm -hmm. And how do you pitch against um, uh, someone like Seek, a company like Seek? I think what you'll see from Career One is, is us changing as a, as a business in the way that we approach how people locate and find talent. Uh, we've developed a, a strategy which is a, a beyond the job board, so looking at three different ways that companies can actually find talent. Uh, and the first one of those is actually looking within the businesses themselves. So using cloud-based um, talent management services to help those businesses. Um, the second part of that strategy is then um, maybe something people wouldn't expect from Career One, which is using virtual environments, 3D environments, or even virtual fairs for um, companies to connect with people they're looking to hire, or particularly even building out brand messages. And we've seen um, great success overseas. So we're just about to launch the, the first one of our career fairs in September, which is um, looking to be a tremendous success. And then the third element of that, I think, is, is most exciting, which is how we're really using digital and, um, and how we're using those t targeting technologies to be able to help companies find that talent. So as you said, instead of waiting for somebody to actually come to your job board, we are now providing the, the technology, and it's actually global leading technology for us to launch this in Australia. And we've already seen 25% month on month growth in terms of um, a very soft launch of this in marketplace. So we're tremendously excited about helping Australian businesses. Karen, a lot of us are getting a lot more emails from LinkedIn popping up in our inboxes yeah. these days, people looking to connect. Is that, right. a, is that a tool recruiters are using in the online space? And tell us a little bit about my career too, it's gone to a free model yeah. recently, is that going to be hard to compete with? Um, look, I think competition is a great thing. Um, I think certainly um, LinkedIn and social hiring has its place. Uh, I think it's maybe more challenging for businesses that are looking to hire on, on volume um, to use those kinds of methodologies, which is why I think uh, using targeting uh, technologies is much more exciting because you can actually reach people at scale. Um, using this particular service that we have, we will actually have the biggest reach of any job board. So that means that we can actually reach um, thousands, if not millions of people across thousands of websites. And um, so that really starts to change the game around of saying, well, who's the biggest job board? And it's not really about that. It's about how can we actually help somebody reach at scale and um, the, the speed to market that we can help them do that. Is much of your traffic 
mobile users? Yes, um, we've seen a phenomenal increase in mobile. Um, year on year growth for our platform has been about 70%. Uh, and I think you would see probably similar statistics across the industry around just growth on any kinds of platforms. But I think probably more so than anything, people feel, um, or would like to think they probably feel a little bit more sensitive about maybe searching for a job at work. And uh, it seems to fit in with people's lifestyle that uh, during lunch hours, on the way to work, um, you know, after they've come home from work, put the children to bed, um, had dinner, that we're seeing those, those peaks in terms of how people are using uh, the mobile device as that companion element to, to their lifestyles. Now, your, um, your offering is a JV between News Limited and uh, Monster, Monster, is it? And That's correct. Does the Monster offer sort of job searches here, international sort of you know, ability to search for candidates in a wider Yeah, absolutely. Field. I think one of the um, one of the beauties of us having uh, Monster as a as a, a partner and a, a shareholder is um, the R and D and, and the tech that's coming out of such a massive global player, and um, I think that really puts us into that leadership position. Um, certainly, companies that we deal with that are looking for you know talent. Sometimes the the pool in Australia is, is challenging. Certainly, healthcare education. We're seeing um, real demand of needing to go outside of Australia, and um, using our um, partner in terms of Monster, we have an enormous international reach and very close relationships with those overseas international companies. So we really can add, add a very unique service to those to those businesses. And how sensitive is the um, pricing out there in the market? I mean, we, I've been to the, we were talking about the World Association of Newspapers last week. Uh, publishers are saying, look, they're finding digital maybe not as price sensitive as they thought when mm. they get into that space. Is it? Yeah. You know, will people pay for, for good service? And I think it all comes back to the ROI, which is um, I don't mind paying a certain amount of money, but what's the value that I'm receiving from it? And we've certainly, um, you know, gone out fairly aggressively and said, you know, dollar for dollar, we are offer the best value of uh, any of the recruitment solutions that are out there, and we've worked through the analytics on that. Um, and again, I think when you look at these, the digital headhunter, which is going out and targeting and finding people, you know what's more important about finding the right person or being there in front of your competitor and finding the right person much more quickly. How does that change the dynamic in your business if you're able to get that right person into your business and start driving the revenues? So I think there's different dynamics at play, but um, I'm you know, a great believer in providing Australian businesses with the most aggressive solutions we can be and make sure that they're um, in a real position globally to, to lead the way and that always starts with having the right people and the right talent in your business. Karen, thanks so much for coming on the show. You're welcome, thank you. Karen Lawson there, Career One CEO. We take a very quick break here on Media Week. Coming up, all the TV ratings with James.